Hey YT, it's your girl and I'm back for part two of my IMAX haul. Um, the next stop up for me was a trip to OCC and so I went into OCC and I got to meet my my good old boy Mr. David Classfell and David was doing wonderfully. We actually pulled up at the event his cab was like right in front of me so that was like really cool um, I picked up five of the new lip tars and this very first one is called Belladonna and I will quickly give you a little swatch of these guys uh, Belladonna looks like that just really really gorgeous and you all know with lip tars you only need a little bit a little bit goes a long way this next one that I picked up is called um, Kava Kava and Kava Kava looks like this and there is Kava Kava the next one that I picked up is in uh, Digitalis and Digitalis looks like this really beautiful pink and there is a swatch of this one so there is Digitalis the next one that I picked up is called, um, this one is Melange. And Melange looked like this. And there is a swatch of Melange. And the last uh, lip tar that I got is in. Uh, Penny Royale and Penny Royale is a beautiful nude and there it is swatched on my hand right there so those were the five lip tars that I picked up alright then I picked up 13 of the eyeshadow pigments and so I kinda already have those swatched on my hand so this first one is called um, magenta and magenta looks like this really really gorgeous purple and here is a swatch of magenta right there the next one that I picked up is called uh, distortion and distortion is like a like a midnight blue almost and it looks like this and here is a swatch of distortion the next one that I picked up is called uh, clove and clove looks like this and here is a swatch of clove the next one that I picked up is called um, rhyme or ream r-i-m-e and it's like a, um, a light green and it looks like this and here is a swatch of ream or rhyme whichever way it is pronounced the next one that I picked up is called um, hum h-u-m and hum looks like this really really gorgeous and here is a swatch of hum the next one that I picked up is called cherry bomb and cherry bomb looks like this 
and that is just beautiful right there so I picked up cherry bomb and here is a swatch of cherry bomb this next one that I picked up is called twirl and twirl is a beautiful color for a uh, highlight and it looks like this and I have twirl as a highlight right now and here is a swatch of twirl right there this next one that I picked up is called triptych and triptych is this beautiful kind of golden yellow and it looks like this and there is a swatch of triptych this next one that I picked up is called Mimosa and Mimosa looks like this really really gorgeous um, I love the OCC shadows they are definitely beautiful and here is a swatch of Mimosa <clears throat> the next one that I picked up is called Poison and Poison looks like this is like a, uh, a black and green and here is a swatch of poison right there this next one is called uh, Datara and Datara is definitely one of the newer ones it's this beautiful pink but it once you swatch it and you lay it down it kinda gives off this lavender effect so that is Datara and here is a swatch of Datura. Two more. This next one is called Wasabi. And Wasabi looks like this is kind of a chartreuse color. And there is a swatch of Wasabi. And this very last one is called Glisten. And Glisten was really, really pretty. Um, so I definitely had to get that one. So there is Glisten. And Glisten swatches like this. So those were all the shadows that I got from OCC and then I picked up uh, two of their blending brushes and two more of their eyeshadow brushes. So here are the eyeshadow brushes. Uh, it's just a small shadow brush. Looks like this. It has the OCC name on it and that is the small eyeshadow brush and then like I said I picked up two of the blending brushes tapered blending brushes and so there is the tapered blending and there is the OCC label so those were all the things that I picked up from OCC then next up I stopped at Model in a Bottle and they had a special for $35 if you paid $35 you got um, the model in the bottle. You also got one of the makeup removers. It looks like this. You got this little mini eyelash curler. And as the ladies at the booth, which were sisters, they told me and Tracy uh, for $35, this is a shit kicking deal. So yes I took advantage of it uh, you got the brow set and then you got these two little uh, travel size little brushes um, one's like a little I guess stippling kabuki type brush and this one as you see it's been through some damage there because it's been laying in the bottom of the bag but um, 
I'll figure out some type of use for these brushes. So you got all of that for $35. And then I purchased this uh, model in a bottle, Lash Builder, and this was $15. Bucks. All right, so got that also. Next up was I took a stop into Ardell's and Ardell's deal was you buy six pairs of lashes and you got um, some lash glue for free and you also got them to apply a pair of lashes for you. So I picked up a pair of fairies and they look like this. I picked up uh, let's see, I think I got two pairs of the mm, 102 Demi's. I got a pair of the Demi Wispies. I got a pair of the Sexies. And then I got a pair of the 101's. And like I said, you could, you had your choice of the clear or the black. Uh, lash adhesive and so I got it in clear so that's what I picked up from Ardell's then I went over to Nigel's Emporium and um, I got one of the um, I think you pronounce this Mundia brush cleaner so I got a bottle of this I also got uh, two bigger Z palettes. I got one in red and one in the zebra print. And then I picked up one small one in the leopard print and it comes with the little magnets now. So I got those. And then the last thing that I got at Nigel's was this little um, case that you could depot your clear acrylic case that you can depot your lipsticks in and it comes with like five slots. So I picked up one of those also. Okay, then the next stop for me was into uh, Delium. So I went to Delium Tools. Um, I also went to Royal Langnickel to check out the Revolution brushes, um, S. Hana Blue. Um, brought them to my attention. They had them on display, but nowhere at the booth did I see where we could purchase them. Um, and the owner of those particular brushes, he was there because he's in a picture that I put on my Facebook page. So if you're not friends with me on Facebook, I will leave my Facebook link down below. Um, hit me up and I will add you, but you can see the brushes there. Um, the ferrule and the handles of the brusher, brushes are like a rubberized material. They look really awesome, but he stepped away and I could never get back over there to ask him any more questions in reference to him. So I went on over to Delium and I purchased two brushes from the, uh, excuse me, Maestro line and the other brushes were from the Studio line. So, the two brushes that I picked up from the Maestro line, if I can just get them all organized over here, were, the first one that I picked up was the 785, and this is the Tapered Blending Brush. And as you can see, this brush was $6. And I will quickly kind of get these out. Um, so... Here is the 785 Maestro Series brush and this is the tapered blending and it's pretty much you know your standard blending brush. I think that I might like this one a whole lot better than I like my MAC 224. That brush just doesn't do it for me. So I picked that one up. Then I also picked up the 781 crease brush and that one was seven dollars from the maestro series and let me get that out and there is the 781 and there is the crease brush and so far these brushes are really really soft um, most of their brushes are made of goat hair or they're synthetic um, they do no animal testing on any of their brushes at Delium 
So those were the two Maestro series brushes I picked up. And then the other brushes were from the Studio line. So this first one is from the Studio line. It's got the yellow handle. And this is the 780 pencil brush. And it was $5. Just a standard uh, pencil brush. But most of the um, Studio series has white the white goat hair and so there is your pencil brush the next one that I picked up is the 959 uh, face powder blending brush and this brush was ten dollars and get this one out and this is what the powder blending brush looks like and this thing is like super super duper soft uh, you get the delium label on here you get the number of the brush right there so uh, this is like I said the powder blending the next one that I picked up is the uh, number 777 and this is a shadow brush it was five dollars and this is your uh, everyday uh, brush that you can pack on your colors with and that is the shadow brush and I haven't played with any of them yet the next one I just heard uh, Goss Makeup talk about this brush and this is the 957 Precision Kabuki brush and it looks like this. It was ten dollars. And when I say soft, this brush is super soft. It's a flat top kabuki. And as you can see, like it is really dense. So I cannot wait to use this brush right here. So I got that one. Um, next thing that I got was uh, the 776 and this is the blending brush uh, just like the MAC 217. Uh, the next thing that I got is the 785 which is the Studio Line tapered blending brush. Um, got one of those. Then I got the 781 crease brush um, and I have to read up on them. Um, this brush let's see the taper blending was only five from the studio line and it was six dollars for the crease in the studio line I have to see what is the major difference between the studio version versus the maestro version and then I got a small shader which looks like this and this is number 772 and it was also five dollars so those were all the brushes that I picked up from Delium um, and if I'm not mistaken guys I think I am at the end of my haul so those were oh no I'm not take that back I forgot one other thing I went to Stila um, Stila was having a 40% off so I made two stops into Stila the first time I went into Stila I picked up the Stila in the lights um, palette almost forgot about this sitting over there and it comes with the little lookbook and if I get the palette out and then inside of the palette you get uh, these shades right here and I will give you some quick swatches of some of the colors so you can see the pigmentation so there are some of the swatches from the Stila in the light palette and I had a few people tell me that they really enjoy this so there they are swatched out on my hand so I picked this palette up and then the next thing that I picked up was one of the Stila lip glazes and I got this one in apricot and you know all the Stila products have the little brush applicator and you just kind of twist the product up in there so I got this one in apricot then I went back to Stila uh, with shells 423 and I picked up one of the pH color adjusting blushes and this one is in the self adjusting coral Let's see. there we go 
and it looks like this and it's supposed to adjust adjust to your pH of your body and so that is the coral and let's see get a clean finger here there is a swatch of the coral on my finger and there it is swatched out on my hand then the next thing that I picked up was I picked up one of these lip glosses and this lip gloss you can only purchase during the IMATS and makeup show events you can never supposedly you can never get these any other time at Sephora and I got this lip gloss in Giggle that is showing up and Giggle looks like this definitely uh, Nicki Minaj type of pink so if you have a chance to go to one of the shows definitely want to get this and that is Giggle the next thing was we had seen um, one of the makeup artists and he did a look and he showed a pencil that is not out yet and it's one of the waterproof ones and this one is in electric and electric looks like this and this is a liner and so there is a swatch of electric And I think that will now be the end of my haul. So those are all the things that I picked up at IMATS. Uh, cannot wait for a makeup show. Um, sorry guys for such a long video. But I wanted to make sure I got a chance to show you all the great things that I picked up. So, Alright, take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.